Walking Dead USA. Doing good. How about you? Okay, great. You got y'all can hear me. So, I guess we'll just get right into it because um. So the next project that I'm working on for at least for the back on battle plan stuff are very specific competitive reviews. Now I know I've been doing the uh, worst to best series and that's a good starting point however i don't really go super deep into the back gun that i rank i pretty much just say this is the best one because of this but with this upcoming series the back gun that i pick up uh instead of just doing a unboxing of it i'm going to be reviewing it with with all its contents that it comes with so the back of course it comes with the action cards whatever and then the best deck that at least I think that you can put the Bakugan within. So I think the first episode of that is going to be coming out day after tomorrow. So tomorrow is the last worst to best video for a while now because uh, it's going to be the last Bakugan from Bakugan Battle Plant that I'll be ranking from worst to best. I think it's Truncanius. Yeah, Truncanius Ultra is going to be the last one. And then we'll just wait for Armored Alliance to finish and then we'll rank all of those. But until then, there's a lot of Bakugan that I still need to pick up from Battle Planet. Um, I know at least from the waves that I currently have, uh, from way up to wave 6 is where Canada is at right now, I need to pick up Pyrus Vicerox Core, because that's really good for Fury decks. Um, and then wave 7 and wave 8, hopefully we get those, because I want to pick up Darkest Vic Vicerox Core, uh... Aurelis, Gorthion Ultra, what else is there? Uh, Pyrus, Kellyon Ultra. There's a few other ones. Oh, I also need to pick up Pandox Ultra, too. Season 2 rank, yeah. Those are going to be a while from now. At least uh, once a back gun has all its faction released, and at least one of them has an evil... E yeah, at least they have at least one evolution, then I'll be ranking them from worst to best. But... Uh, until then, I'll just be waiting until it pans out. So, first off, I think we'll get into the order that I'm... Actually, no. We'll, we'll save the diamonds for last. And we'll go with uh, this guy over here. Ventus Hydranoid. Alright. So, it's going to be a bit awkward. Just got Diamond. Nice. Diamond Hydranoid Ultra. That's a pretty good one. Too bad I never got an evolution. It was uh, really needing a solid one. Alright, now I wonder how much cardboard this thing is going to, all this is going to produce. Alright. Here are the thingamajigs. Which do you think is better, the original Bakugan or the Bakugan re reboot? TV show wise and toy wise. Well, the fact that I, I I haven't been able to watch the first episode, like I keep trying to, but I just have to drop it halfway through. So, in that case, that makes the original series, at least for the show wise, better. But I I remember dropping the original show when I was a kid, so that doesn't really say too much about it. Um, for the uh, for toys, obviously the new the new ones are a lot better. Um, I'm more into it as a uh, TCG rather than a toy line, so there's that. But um, the original ones have its uh, charm. I, I wasn't really into the original one for so long. I was only into it when I was in grade five. Um, back on ba back on Battle Brawlers came out when I was. They teased it around the summer. When I was in grade 4. And then it came out when I was in grade 5. And so. I was. That's the B1 stuff. The B1 stuff came out when I was in grade 5. And so I was into that for. At least until the summer. Of like 2008. Or 2009. I'm not sure. Because what happened after that was that. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds came out. And that was crazy. And also they were showing reruns. Of the same episode over and over again. So I kind of just got bored of it. It was around the time when uh, they were evolving 
So I think Del- was Dragonoid's first evolution coming out. Is the episode with Skyrus and something. But uh, yeah, they kept on showing the same episode over and over again. So I ended up dropping it. But enough about that. Here we have the Ventus Hydronoid Ultra. Pretty interesting. Not bad. Well, let's see what cores we get from this guy. I pretty much already know the cores because I did research beforehand. Let's see. We get the plus 400 Aquas Ventus. That's really good. And the minus 200, which isn't that good. And then we got the cards Hygenoid Ultra. And let's see if I can if I can at least try to open this. Uh But yeah, there's a lot of nostalgia for the original one. Ventus Hydronoid Ultra is a very interesting Bakugan because uh, its evolution is just crazy. A high cost, but I mean, it's like the strongest, like the highest base B power evolution for vanilla Bakugan. Uh, if you're not counting, uh, what's it called? Dragonoid Maximus, who's like. 40 bucks to get one copy of so so I got three copies of it and then we got Pendio uh, what's the English one? Oh yeah rock riser stop a shield and a magic shield not bad uh, confuses better because it stops a magic shield and a fire fist which is currently what the meta is right now at least <laughs> at least in Canada the U.S. they're getting their Armored Alliance stuff, so Helix Core Bakugan are a lot better now. But yeah, that's uh, Ventus uh, Hydronoid Ultra. Uh, Flapple in Pokemon? Yeah, the Apple guy, right? Oops. How do I look at the comments? I don't know. I got an Evo. Uh-oh. Which, yeah, that's uh, Ventus Hydronoid. I guess next we'll go on to Hyper Dragonoid. Hyper Dragonoid. I picked this guy up mainly because it's the main character's Bakugan. It'll be top magic shield and helix that will be desired. Yeah. But I think uh, right now, uh, what's the the helix the core Bakugan are so overwhelming. Well, that yeah, overwhelmingly powerful in base form, where it's crazy. Even even if you know, what's it called? Mega Pega becomes a threat. It's just insane. 1600, 1500 B power in base form turn one is just crazy. Especially since, uh, what do you call Helix Core back again? Man, that's crazy. And also, ah, I dropped it. Oh no. Let me just pick up uh, my Dragonoid. It fell down onto the floor. Alright. We got him. Not bad. Do I want to hear a joke? Yes. Tell us a joke. Ooh. Oh, sorry. I should be showing you this. I named your f shiny Flapple Dragonoid. Cool. Here you go. That's Dragonoid. And, um... It's a good one. It doesn't eat. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, mine was like yeeting the cores. All right, so Squeamer says, "What do you say when you throw a baby on the floor?" What do you say, Squeamer? It isn't a bouncing baby boy anymore. Uh oh. 
Don't throw your babies onto the floor, guys. Nice. Look at this. It looks great. Dragonoid Hyper Dragonoid Ultra. Um, I know this guy is outclassed by Nobilius Ultra. I pretty much just picked him up because he is the main character back again. So that's always going to be a cool thing to have. But let's see the cores it gets. We get a Magic Shield and Fire Fist. Magic Shield, we got a plus 650, which is the best one that you can get. And for Fire Fist, we get plus 250, plus 3, which is also a really good one to get. I think um, those Might and Mac decks are using plus 6. There we go. Dragonoid Ultra, 505. I know that uh, when... When Pyrus Dragonoid Ultra was first revealed, everyone was super hyped for it because uh, it had like the best base stats. I guess uh, Aurelis, uh, Aurelis Halker Ultra had the same stat lineup, but it came with the Pyrus, the Pyrus faction cards, so that was incredibly good. But then, uh, by the time it came, by the time it came out, people were like, "Eh, it keeps throwing the cores, so it's not that good." And then. Uh, we found out we're gonna it's gonna get a hyper form, but then Nobilius came out and just pretty much destroyed Dragonoid Ultra. And now we're here. Let's see what we got. Dragonoid Ultra, of course. Get three of them. And then we got the playset of Hyper Dragonoid Ultra. Nice. It's a common, but um, if you're an international brawler. It's incredibly difficult to get the evolution for a lot of things. So having it come in the actual in the actual pack is really cool. That's a Dragonoid. I think next up we'll do uh, Cubbo. Cubbo I got, I think in earlier this year, I picked it up at Toys R Us. My uh, my friend uh, Lamar Devante from Lamar Devante he uh, he found he found one at Toys R Us and he was like hey it's Young Blader there's one at Toys R Us come and get it and then I like immediately drove all the way to Toys R Us to pick it up all right so Walking Dead USA says why do we tell actors to break a leg. Why do we tell actors to break a leg? Ugh. There you go. Oh no, I just knocked him over. Alright, the joke's gonna come up any minute now. There's a bit of a, bit of a delay on the stream, so... Give us the punchline, my dude. All right. Aquas Cubo. Because every play has a cast. <laughs> nice jokes, my man. So we're going to move this guy out of here. And we show the king. Aquas Cubbo. China. Huh. Ah, no. It's too top heavy. Alright. How do I get him to. Alright, stay there. Nice. Okay, what kind of cores will we get? We get a Magic Shield and Fire Fist. Not sure if we get any good ones. I don't remember there being a good one in this one. Here we go. Whoops. Fire Fist. 150 plus 4. Nice. It's not horrible, but... Uh... And then plus 5... 50. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh oh. Lamar Devante is going to come. He doesn't even know where I live. Or does he? 
But what, what else? Oh, yeah. The actual character cards for Aquas Cubo. All right. Aquas Cubo, you gave me your address. Uh oh. The Lamar Devante and Zionic Blader show. Starring Lamar Devante and Zionic Blader. Ugh, I'm st stuck trying to get the card out of this packaging. There we go. Nice. We survived. Aquas Cubo. 1350 when it lands on a Magic Shield Core. Nice. Three of them for some reason. Well, I mean, because it's international, but get three of them. So there's that. And the last non diamond Bakugan. Ouch. I just touched a light bulb by mistake and it burned me. Oh, yeah. Before we get to that, let me show you this thing. This really, this is a really old Naruto bookmark that I think I got in grade two or something. This thing is like 15 years old or something. 15, 16 years old. This is really old. Crazy. This episode is Yonic Devente. I wish I was sponsored by someone. Well, I mean... I mainly, I probably only have like a week's worth of uh, Bakugan content left, and then I'll be doing some model kit stuff. I was trying to make my first ever model kit video, but the problem with that was that uh, my review on that is that is that it's very fragile, and what happens is that it falls down, died. What's the Bakugan dinosaur poster over there? Oh, this. This is the poster that they gave out at Toys R Us. Um, I told them that I was making a video, so I was able to get one of each, which was pretty lucky. And then I got them laminated so that they never get uh, busted or anything. So, let's open this up. Get out of here, Aquas Cubo. Yeah, a lot of cards here. They've uh, they've been collecting dust for months. Um, <laughs> good thing you got them laminated. Otherwise, they would have been just absolutely destroyed by just me being leaving them on the floor. But uh, here is Pyrus Nilius Ultra. Next Wednesday. I'm working. I'm working my job on Wednesday. Darkest Cubo has no reason to be good. It's okay. It has that, what's it called, discard effect. So that's pretty cool. Do I still play the Bakugan Battle Planet app? No, I do not. I haven't played that app since I made that video. Um, it's okay. Look at that. That is Pyrus Nilius Ultra. I uh, picked this guy up because uh, I really wanted to build a Helix Core deck. But unfortunately, <laughs> the upcoming Helix Core Bakugan don't need evolutions to be good. So, yeah, this guy is just outclassed because his evolution does not come out until Age of Aurelis. And because I live in Canada, I don't know when I'm going to get Age of Aurelis. So, we're stuck with that. But, uh, a set. Also comes with uh, two cores. Uh... Aurelis Dragonoid. It's head popping up over here. Um, I haven't seen... I haven't... Nice. 
Vent Aurelis Dragonoid. It gets a reprint. Originally released in Wave 1. Um, hasn't seen play since Wave 1. Because of a better back again with Fire Fist and Magic Shields showing up. We got Aquas Trino. This guy has a very interesting effect. His evolution at least. When he, land, when he opens up. His underdog ability lets you draw two cards, which considering his stats are pretty bad, at least you get to draw cards out of it, so that's good. Now, where did I leave the cards? Oh yeah, over here. Look at all these cards. This is the international release of the cards. Alright, this one was a lot easier to open compared to whatchamacallit, that one, and here we go, Dragonoid Aurelis, 406, and then we get to Constrictor, stop a Bakugan holding a Green Fist, or Helix Core thing, which is actually, considering Helix Core Bakugan are going to see a rise, this isn't going to be too bad. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that it also stops Green Fist, and I don't think Green Fist is going to see any play anytime soon. I guess unless um, Pyrus Dragonoid Core with its uh, damage increase by getting by yeah by latching onto a Green Fist is going to see some play. I'm not sure about that. Kellyon might be a safer choice. I'm um, over oh, there. We go. Nilius Ultra. It gets. Uh, if you use the uh, was it plus six hundred minus three core, it's one thousand B power zero damage. If you use the plus five hundred minus one core, it's uh nine hundred damage and uh, four but two damage. But with double uh, double strike, it's four. So he this guy right now is the weakest link in a helix core deck. You really only use him because he brings in the Pyrus cards that you like from. Uh, the Pyrus faction. But now that uh, was it Aquas Hydrus came out and uh, was it Ventus Rairazu's coming out. I don't there's no space for uh there's no space for my boy Pyrus Nilius Ultra. Um now the best Helix Core Bakion from Bakion Battle Planet, which was uh, Darkest Crocellius Ultra, he is now the weakest link in a Helix Core deck. So there's that, and then there's also Aquas Trino with the magic sh uh, shield and fist, and then ooh, what's this one? This one is Mud Pit. Yes, plus four hundred B power flow. If you played another card this turn, plus four Frost Strike. It's too expensive to really be worth using. But then um, Spontaneous Combustion, make a Pyrus attack for four damage. Interesting. Um, but it is a flip card and it costs 4 damage. If it also stopped an attack, that would be cool too. That would have been cool, but unfortunately it does not. So, there's that. And I think I have not gotten... Whoops, almost knocked these guys over. I have not gotten to the cores yet. They're still stuck in here. So I'm going to just uh, open them up. Alright. Shield. Plus 400, Aqua Stargus, that's a great shield to get. Green Fist, plus 2, eh, it's not that good. Plus, minus 200, plus 5, not good. Plus 500, minus 1, that's one of the best ones. Minus 4, not good. Uh-oh, and plus 600, which is the second best one. The best one being uh, plus 650. Now, I accidentally dropped a couple back again. So I'm just going to pick them up. My favorite Bakugan from Bakugan Battle Planet. Huh. I really like Diamond Pegatrix Ultra. I also really like the Ventus Dragonoid Core. Um, what else did I really like? Aquas Cubo. I just like Cubo in general. Um, who else is there? Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, Darkest Pekelios is cool too. Pyrus Serpentes, that's a good one too. But, 
Next up, we are going to open... Let's say we're going to open the triple pack because that takes a lot of space. And also, Diamond Pegatrix Ultra is one of my favorite backgrounds. So, there's that. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Aqua's Green Ultra is good. Yes. Pretty good in a Mono Aquas uh, Magic Shield Core deck. All right. The Diamonds. Whew. Diamond Webm Ultra Starter Pack. Now... The interesting thing about starter packs is that at the time of their release, they always have at least one Bakugan that is worth using. It's actually pretty rare for starter packs to have no Bakugan that are worth using. Um, there's only a, like maybe one or two that I can think at the top of my head, starter packs at least, that have no Bakugan worth using. That being the Heos Hydorus Ultra starter pack from Wave 1. Um, what else? I can't think of any others. But the Diamond Webm Ultra Starter Pack is one of those starter packs where none of the backgun are worth using in a deck. Which is unfortunate, because, you know, it's a diamond. But uh, really, you're only picking up Diamond Webm Ultra because it's a diamond. You're not picking this up because the backgun are really good. But uh, this is going to be my first ever Webm. This is going to be my first ever Phaedrus that I unbox. Uh, Chaos Cubbo I opened with the uh, Aurelis Hydronoid Ultra Starter Set, Starter Pack. Alright, but... Now, it will be interesting to see if uh, this one also has the packaging error. I'm not sure if the packaging error also is included with the international release. Packaging error being that uh, the character card, I mean, the evolution for Diamond Webm is not there. Hmm. All right. Diamond Webm Ultra. Wow. All right. How do I. How am I going to open this guy? I just like push it out. Does this guy have any plastic on him? Yeah, he does. Alright, I'm gonna have to do this off camera while I pick at the plastic. There we go. Diamond Webm Ultra. Wow. Looks great. Too bad isn't that good. Otherwise, it would have been spicy in the deck. Flex. Nice. Diamond Webm Ultra. Now, I guess I might as well open up uh, these two, get them out of their. Out of their things. Right. Diamond Cubbo. Let's open them up. There we go. Diamond Cubbo, here to play. Uh, not. I think this is probably the worst that Cubbo. I'm not sure. Or else one might be worse. I'm not sure. Now... This one I'm excited for because I think this is my first darkest diamond back gun, actually. So, fittingly, plus 400. Let's open them up. Oh, okay. There we go. Diamond Phaedrus. Nice. Okay, now we just... Oops. <laughs> oh no, Diamond Webm falls down. There he is. There we go. Diamond Webm, hungry for a snack. 
Phew. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. Let's uh, take a look at the... The cores. Right? Plus 50, plus 2. Nope. Plus 100. Do any of your diamond Bakugan have trouble staying closed? Not that I know of. I don't really play with them. I just like them out of the box. For... And then I keep them in another box. Plus 150, plus 1. Nope. There we go. Plus 650. That's good. Uh, plus Shadow Strike. Eh. Plus minus 400. Eh. So we got that plus 650. Now it's the moment of truth. We'll see if the international version also has that packaging error. I'm not sure if anyone has opened the pack, uh, international version of Diamond Web and Mulcher, but we'll see. We have Phaedrus, Darkest Phaedrus, Diamond Cubbo, Diamond Phaedrus, Web and Mulcher, Cubbo. Yeah, this one does not come with a... Stop one back on holding a Fire Fist with a zero damage. But, yeah, at least the Diamond Web and Ultra is there. And it's not like I was going to uh, use him in a deck anyways. So there's that. And, now, finally, the one I have been super excited for, Diamond... Pegatrix. This guy was a pain to get. I'm telling you guys. First, I placed my order and I was put onto the waiting list and then my order was cancelled for Diamond Pegatrix Ultra. And then the second time, I finally was able to get it, but this was after they increased the price for Diamond for uh, the Bakugan. So it was no longer twelve ninety seven. It was now fourteen ninety nine, and uh, because I didn't really have anything else to pick up, I had to pay the was it the ten dollar or the five dollar shipping fee, and then they also added a handling fee. So this thing was like thirty bucks, just the diamond Pegatrix Ultra thirty bucks to get it from the store, to get it from uh, what you call the warehouse or whatever to my place. It cost thirty bucks. And uh, I was going to do it where it's just pick up from the store. However, last time I did that, I ended up getting, my order ended up getting put on hold and canceled. So I was not going to risk that. So now we will finally open this Diamond Pegatrix Ultra, which I, you know, it has a very solid deck. Oops. It's going to have a very solid deck coming out in uh, Bakugan Armored Alliance. With Enoch Ultra. Oops, my diamond weapon fell. Let me... Let's see if I can... Put the back on. Over here. Ah. Oh no. Just one more. Dragonoid. There we go. Oops, things are falling down everywhere. But now it is time to finally open. Oops, Hyper Dragonoid. Just, just vibe over there. Okay. Okay, guys. Got it. We finally got it. Diamond Pegatrix. Let me just make sure there's no uh, plastic tab on it. Oh man, this guy is like stuck in there. There we go. Sorry I'm doing this all off camera. It's just because, whoa, I don't want it to break. Could you imagine going through all that just for it to break? There we go. Diamond. 
Pegatrix Ultra. Look at that teal. Teal coloring. And I think there's a horn too, right? Nice. Now, honestly, it doesn't look too, that much different uh, to the uh, non-diamond version. But... Really, the main attraction, for me at least, was the fact that, hopefully, yes, I got, hopefully, the international version, and then I get, whoops, some nice stuff out of it. However, the deck that I'm thinking of for Diamond Pegatrix Ultra is, of course, Diamond Pegatrix Ultra, then Pyrus Nobilius Ultra, to take advantage of that magic shield, and finally... Darkest Enoch Ultra. Now, I know the old build of uh, Diamond Pegatrix Ultra used Aquas Cubbo, but then that was pretty much just another Power Creep Boys but with Diamond Pegatrix Ultra. The cool thing about Darkest Enoch Ultra is that it comes with a Green Fist and a Magic Shield. So the Magic Shield can be taken advantage of by any Bakugan in the team, but the Green Fist is super important because Mega Punch only works with Green Fist, and it only costs one energy. Meaning that you can get Diamond Pegatrix Ultra's effect, which is gain 1,000 B power if you have two or more back cores. You play Mega Punch, you take the Green Fist that uh, Enoch Ultra brings you, and you put it on Diamond Pegatrix Ultra, and bam, you got that 2,000 B, yeah, 2,000 plus beat stick. But let's look at the cores. You get the plus 650 thing. And you get the plus 250 B power. So the plus 650 is honestly the, the great one. I got actually got three or four of them within this unboxing video. Now I'm going to start to hurrying up a bit. I didn't expect to be taking 40 minutes to unbox all these guys. But also I'm running out of battery for my phone. Because I'm live streaming this on my phone. It's at 9%. So it goes by really fast. Because I started this off at like 50%. So... Just opening up the cards. I have to do this off screen because uh, the cards are sometimes a pain to open up. And luckily I got the international version. I know I for some reason I think some of the early Bakugan that we got were not international. I'm not sure where it was where that was from. I think Chapters did not have international ones or Toys R Us. I'm not sure. But Pegatrix Ultra. Pegatrix Ultra. Pegatrix Ultra. Diamond Pegatrix Ultra. There we go. If this has two or more Baku cores attached to it, plus 1,000 B power. Yes. And we get three copies of it. I'm so happy. Because this guy is only in Bakugan Resurgence. And <laughs> Bakugan Resurgence, we do not know when it's coming to Canada. So, uh, yeah. Uh, because of that, you're going to have to get... If you want a play set of Diamond Pegatrix Ultra, you're going to get Diamond Pegatrix, which is a shame because it's rare. But that's that. Um, now, I'm going to be making some pretty in-depth competitive uh, reviews on these Bakugan. Pretty much uh, telling you what decks I think each Bakugan should be in for their best, uh, their, for their best play style. And after that, it's, my, it's probably going to be a while until... The next Bakugan videos come out. So there's probably like what five Bakugan videos out of this. Six Bakugan videos. Because um, until we get Bakugan Resurgence. I can't really do anything. Um, as much as I'd like to buy the Bakugan Armored Alliance stuff. Um, we're just so behind where I don't know if it's going to be worth it. To be picking up stuff so ahead of the cards that we have available. Because... To be honest, we only have Bakugan Battle Brawlers available, and um, you can only do so much. Luckily, I was able to get some uh, uh, singles from Mont Kev, because he ships to Canada, he ships worldwide. So I was able to get some Bakugan Resurgence cards from there. Um, but I also want to really have my go at being able to get a Super Fuel, because Super Fuel is a very expensive card, where a playset of it is like costs more than a... Uh, a booster box so I might I want to try to try my luck at a booster box or a booster box or two from back on resurgence but uh, oh that's a bad way to end this video but uh, 
<laughs> Ruby Dragonoid just appears, and we're actually about to finish up. So, let's see. How many Bakugan have been added? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've added nine Bakugan to the collection. Four of them being Diamond Bakugan. That's really cool. But uh, anyways, guys, this has been Zionic Blader. Thank you all for watching and having the patience of me rambling around. But uh, I'm going to end the stream now because the bat my battery is at like 7%. So, and I also have to start doing uh, the video footage for these guys. All right. Good night, guys.